a common interview question is, walk me through a DCF. And what they're looking for here is essentially the key steps. To make sure that you understand how to build a DCF, you know how it works. Um, and so, so these are kind of the key steps. The first step is to make the key assumptions. So that includes things like revenue growth rate, you know, maybe drivers of costs such as gross margin or maybe SGNA as a percentage of costs. Um, often costs are driven as a percentage of, of costs. Uh, CapEx is also very important. The second step is to calculate the unlevered free cash flows. So to actually forecast the income statement, revenue all the way down to, you know, revenue down to gross profit, down to EBITDA, um, and ultimately down to unlevered free cash flow. And we discount these unlevered free cash flows using WAC, um, the weighted average cost of capital. The fourth step uh, is to find what's called the terminal value. So we only forecast far out enough, um, usually five to 10 years, because you can only really project five to 10 years. It's hard to project past that. Uh, so instead of you know projecting forever and ever, what we do instead is assume a terminal value so that the company is worth this much at the end of the projection period. And we discount it to the present period. Uh, now there are different ways to calculate terminal value. Um, and you know, essentially two ways, the perpetuity growth rate and the exit multiple method. Finally, uh, after calculating the enterprise value by adding the, you know, the present value of the projected unlevered free cash flows with the present value of the terminal value. So in other words, you're discounting it to the present period. And then you can actually arrive at enterprise value. You can subtract net debt, get to equity value, divide by fully diluted shares outstanding, and finally do a sensitivity analysis on key variables such as growth rate um, or perhaps, you know, costs, uh, for example, EBITDA margin, or you can sensitize the actual model assumptions, such as the exit multiple or the perpetuity growth rate, as well as the uh, WAC that you used.